What's going on guys? It is Kirk. Um, usually you're probably used to hearing by now me saying this is your boy Kirk and Sam but basically me and Sam we're not always you know because of our schedules and everything we don't always have the time to you know link up and film so um, we've just kind of made a decision because we really want to get a lot more content out there so we've just kind of make it, made a decision that you know whenever any of us can film because obviously we both got the equipment why not why not make a video and put it out there so today i'm going to be alone i'm flying solo today and i'm coming at you with a transfer video and especially if you're an arsenal fan you'll know what's going on that arsenal have agreed a fee of 72 million pounds so around 80 million euros for nicolas pepe from a football standpoint and obviously we talk about african football on this channel a uh, player like Nicolas Pepe, being Ivorian, you know, had a great season. As you can see behind me, actually, yeah, you can probably see behind me what's going on. And that's a video by uh, Scout Nation. So that video, obviously, is not from Reveal. This isn't a Reveal video. But you can go check it out if you want. It's a great video on all of Nicolas Pepe's goals and assists and celebrations and all that kind of stuff. So I just kind of decided to just put it on in the background. Just because he's the main person that we're going to be talking about today in this video. So that video is by Scout Nation. Go online and check it out. But just wanted to offer sort of like our take on the transfer of Nicolas Pepe coming to the Premier League. First of all, a brilliant player to add to the plethora of players that we've already got in the Premier League. We've got loads and loads and loads of players in the Premier League um, in terms of, you know, marquee players, players that kind of stand out, world-class world quality anyway. And Nicolas Pepe is another one just to add to that list and it'll be brilliant to see him in the Premier League. Now, he is a player that is literally a perfect blend of speed, finishing, skill, he's got it all. The way he plays kind of reminds us of, of someone we've already got in the Premier League like Sadio Mane, who, you know, he's fast on the ball, he can dribble, can get into space, he can, he can finish. He's, he will be a magnificent addition to any side. And for Arsenal to be going in with £72 million pounds to try and buy this player, and even look at the, the price that they're even willing to pay for him, that's huge. That's huge. Normally, you don't really see a lot of African players going for um, said price, like a, a price like that. If you, even if you look at Arsenal, you've got them purchasing a Bamiyang, and that was only for about £56 million. So for them to put £72 million down for Nicolas Pepe, it's a magnificent transfer. It's a, it's a massive, massive, massive sort of like stamp to say that he is world-class quality because first of all, look at the price. Now, whether or not it's good business, I'd say it's good business. Not talking about, you know, Arsenal's point of view, but it's just in terms of the player that they're getting. Everyone knows that for the past month, they've been linked with another Ivorian in the form of Wilfred Zaha. So Arsenal very much at the moment, in terms of adding to their firepower, we're really looking in Africa and in particular, Ivory Coast at the moment. Now, Wilfred Zaha, he already plays for Crystal Palace. So, you know, he's, some will say he's Premier League proven, even though he didn't really do that well last year, but Crystal Palace were looking for 80 million pounds from Arsenal to get Wilfred Zaha. Now, for Arsenal to make that switch and now go to Nicolas Pepe, who, if you look at the numbers, although they're playing in two different leagues, if you look at the numbers in terms of goals scored and conversion rate, Nicolas Pepe, blows Zaha out of the water if I'm honest. He absolutely blows Zaha out of the water. Pepe didn't have that much of a great Africa Cup of Nations tournament, but in terms of in their respective leagues, Pepe definitely trumps Zaha in terms of numbers. So for Crystal Palace to be asking for 80 million and for Arsenal to go for Pepe now for 72 million, some might argue that, you know, it's better business in the sense that they're getting a better player for a cheaper price it's not you know it, it makes sense it makes a lot of sense if you, if you if you look at it that way it actually makes a lot of sense to sort of like to change their their focus because obviously if if you ask me right Wilfred Zaha 80 million way too much I think if he had done a lot better in the Premier League last season if he had you know scored uh you know coming towards the 20 20 to 23 24 goals in the Premier League then I think we're probably looking at 80 million plus for such a player. But his numbers last season weren't great at all. So he was wildly inconsistent as well. So the fact that they're asking for 80 million, 
I really don't think it's it's worth that. But a player like Pepe, who was in double figures for Lille last season, and just magnificent in, in general. And it was it was said because he was looked at by uh, teams like uh, Liverpool and even Napoli. Arsenal actually stole him from Napoli because if you were sort of like monitoring uh, different outlets like Sky Sports, it, <laughs> Napoli had actually already agreed that 72 million fee, but Arsenal came in and it looked like Pepe kind of, you know, switched his, his focus towards Arsenal more than Napoli. So <laughs> I think it was a bit of a, a, a pitch there from Arsenal. But in general, for me, if I was to pick between the two and Wilfred Zaha and, and Pepe, both brilliant players, both um, magnificent in terms of playing on the wings and in terms of their attack and play. They've both got real, real, real potential to be world-class. They aren't already there, they've got real potential to be world-class. But I would say Arsenal have done the better business in terms of going for um, Nicolas Pepe. Another reason for that is the fact that Pepe's actually got more years on Zaha. Pepe is only 24. You know, Zaha's approaching 26, 27 now. He's more or less hitting that prime area. And Pepe is only 24. And if he's producing numbers like this at the age of 24, who knows where he could go in two, three years. So they can get a lot more out of Pepe. They can get a lot, lot more out of Pepe. But it's a massive, massive transfer, if I'm honest. Nicolas Pepe coming to the Premier League. Hopefully Arsenal can get it over the line. At this present moment in time, it's just a fee that's been agreed so I think they're in advanced talks now it's personal terms they're just going to discuss contracts and then you know as long as everything's final, finalised anticipated that maybe it might be finalised in the coming days if not by the end of this week we could be seeing Nicolas Pepe coming into the Premier League and for African football in general huge uh, we lack certain players like that obviously for Liverpool it's, uh, it's Salah and and uh, Mane, but to have another one to come to add to it. I mean, Arsenal already have Iwobi, but we just want to see, on this platform, look, we just want to see as many African players out there that can come into the Premier League and, and shine like like some of some of uh, the players from the past have shine. Let's look at players like Okocha or, or, or Kanu. We want to see more of that. So any kind of transfer going on in terms of, you know, the Premier League and anyone coming over, we welcome it. We love it here at Reveal. We want more and more of that. So to see Nicolas Pepe in the Premier League is going to be amazing. But let us know. That's the end of the video for today, but let us know what you think. Do you think that it's a good bit of business or do you think that Arsenal are better suited to a player like Wilfred Zaha? Let us know what you think. But that's the end of the video, guys. Um, remember to like, comment and subscribe. And as we say all the time, guys, Follow us on Instagram for all the latest news from African players from all around the world. At the moment, we've got loads of stuff going on on transfers, on, on who's moving where. And there's been a lot of stuff going on in the transfer window for African players in general. And with the new season about to start, we've got build up. We've got a load of stuff coming on Reveal. We, let me be the first to say this now that there is a new format for the Kings of Africa Challenge. Something that was actually very popular months back. And I know me and Sam only played about maybe two matches but it was very popular. So we've kind of revamped it, changed it up, and we've got some new stuff coming from, you know, going forward more into the year. So it's, 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 gonna, be, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be interesting, and with a new season coming, we can't wait. We hope that you can't wait. So stick around and there's gonna be more content coming. But thanks for watching.